Chapter 22 If you see your neighbor's ox or sheep wandering away, don't pretend not to see it. Take it back to its owner. If it does not belong to someone nearby or you don't know who the owner is, keep it until the owner comes looking for it. Then return it. Do the same if you find your neighbor's donkey, clothing, or anything else your neighbor loses. Don't pretend you did not see it. If you see your neighbor's ox or donkey lying on the road, do not look the other way. Go and help your neighbor get it to its feet. A woman must not wear men's clothing, and a man must not wear women's clothing. The Lord your God detests people who do this. If you find a bird's nest on the ground or in a tree and there are young ones or eggs in it with the mother sitting in the nest, do not take the mother with the young. You may take the young, but let the mother go so you may prosper and enjoy a long life. Every new house you build must have a barrier around the edge of its flat rooftop. That way you will not bring the guilt of bloodshed on your household if someone falls from the roof. Do not plant any other crop between the rows of your vineyard. If you do, you are forbidden to use either the grapes from the vineyard or the produce of the other crop. Do not plow with an ox and a donkey harnessed together. Do not wear clothing made of wool and linen woven together. You must put tassels on the four corners of your cloaks. Suppose a man marries a woman and after sleeping with her changes his mind about her and falsely accuses her of having slept with another man. He might say, I discovered she was not a virgin when I married her. If the man does this, the woman's father and mother must bring the proof of her virginity to the leaders of the town. Her father must tell them, I gave my daughter to this man to be his wife, and now he has turned against her. He has accused her of shameful things, claiming that she was not a virgin when he married her. But here is the proof of my daughter's virginity. Then they must spread the cloth before the judges. The judges must then punish the man will find him one hundred pieces of silver, for he falsely accused a virgin of Israel. The payment will be made to the woman's father. The woman will then remain the man's wife, and he may never divorce her. But suppose the man's accusations are true, and her virginity could not be proved. In such cases, the judges must take the girl to the door of her father's home, and the men of the town will stone her to death. She has committed a disgraceful crime in Israel by being promiscuous while living in her parents' home. Such evil must be cleansed from among you. If a man is discovered committing adultery, both he and the other man's wife must be killed. In this way, the evil will be cleansed from Israel. Suppose a man meets a young woman, a virgin who is engaged to be married, and he has sexual intercourse with her. If this happens within a town, you must take both of them to the gates of the town and stone them to death. The woman is guilty because she did not scream for help. The man must die because he violated another man's wife. In this way, you will cleanse the land of evil. But if the man meets the engaged woman out in the country and he rapes her, then only the man should die. Do nothing to the young woman. She has committed no crime worthy of death. This case is similar to that of someone who attacks and murders a neighbor. Since the man raped her out in the country, it must be assumed that she screamed, but there was no one to rescue her. If a man is caught in the act of raping a young woman who is not engaged, he must pay fifty pieces of silver to her father. Then he must marry the young woman because he violated her, and he will never be allowed to divorce her. A man must not have intercourse with his father's wife, for this would violate his father.